Chuck, Chuck, hello, 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 everybody. Excuse me. <laughs> hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Amy D. If this is your first video here, thank you so much for hanging out with me. First of all, I have this um, lash that's bothering me, so let me just get that out of the way. And second of all, y'all, I know it's been some time. I know it has been some time since I have not been here. Um, there's a lot of stuff that has been going on in my life. <laughs> there's a lot of great things. And there's also some sad stuff that has happened that, you know, I have been trying to process. And I'll just you know, go right into that really quick because it's not necessarily something that I want to go into depth about. Um, but I recently um, lost my father and... I'm only coming out to say this because you guys who actually follow me and have followed me for a long time and follow my sister have already found out through a video that um, she released. Um, I myself have not watched that video and I will not watch it because there's still a lot of things that trigger me personally about, you know, my father's passing. Um, it's um, not something that I want to talk about or go into depth about. And yeah, I'm here actually because I kind of have to. <laughs> uh, I've been taking some time off of social media and off of creating content. And I decided to do that because after losing my father, I actually just kind of blanked out. And what I mean by that is the creating content aspect of things and being on social media was a distraction um, that wasn't allowing me to process the loss. And I made a commitment to myself and I made a decision that I wanted to process this and that I wanted to, you know, move forward. And thankfully, I will say this, I've been very much at peace um, with what happened because I knew that it was coming and because I knew that eventually it was going to happen. Of course, I miss him dearly, but I also know that his energy is all in here and in my house. Um, the um, reason why I say that I had to make this video is because um, Rose Forever, which is a company that I actually collabed with before, they reached out to me in the summer and they wanted to send me another bouquet of flowers. And of course, I love flowers. And actually, my dad passed some months ago and it kind of happened exactly at the time and I decided to want to honor him with this beautiful bouquet of flowers. So I chose this ivory um, and th this black and ivory combination of flowers that I really love to just, first of all, they're forever flowers. So they do last um, up to a year and they're honestly incredible. This is the second bouquet that they have sent me. They also sent me this pink one back here that I shared in the past and that pink one I got for myself. And again, this one, I got it to honor my father. So I guess we'll go right into the sponsoring of this video, which is Rose Forever. <laughs> Why not? Let's get right into it. So if you have never heard of Rose Forever, Rose Forever is a New York based brand launched in 2019. They design luxurious rose boxes with natural roses that will last for a year as if being freshly picked. Um, they use natural oils to preserve the roses and the bouquets are handcrafted by professional flower artisans. All the materials they use to cover the boxes are vegan, even the pink suede, which is the first one that I initially got, and the black velvet. They, they pre preserve flowers in special colors like violet, black, royal blue. They're created through a natural process of pigmentation to keep the rich, intense shade and are allergen free. There is various choices of rose colors and box shapes or materials, so you have to find your own perfect combination for your interior design depending on on what it is that you're looking for, the reason, who you're getting them for, and whatnot. Yeah. Down so, in the description below, I will have a $25 discount code that you guys can actually use, which is going to be Amy25 on their website, roseforever.com. And honestly, this I feel like any time is the perfect time to gift people flowers, especially, especially, especially when they're here with you, especially when you can actually give gift it to them. Um, so yes, I decided to pick this one for myself and in representation of my father, who I love very much and who 
is and was a very big influence in my life for many reasons. I appreciate all of the love that you always gave him and that you shared with him because you guys knew that he would always watch our videos and he would look at your comments and he was just always so excited to be a part of the YouTube community. So thank you guys so, so much. Honestly, aside from the fact that I had to do this video and I say it like that because I miss you guys. I do miss being here and I do miss creating content, but it has been a process on its own and I have needed to take some time away from all distractions, all uh, time away from having to create things within my own brain to try to process this loss, right? Ooh. I don't want to go super into what has been happening because number one it's not necessarily something that i just i want to talk about here um some months ago maybe even already almost a year i decided that i wasn't going to share um my father anymore on social media and that was a personal choice and i know a lot of you guys missed him and asked about him and all these things um and as much as it was content and you guys also wanted to know how he was doing it was a private matter and it was also our personal life or my personal life if i speak for myself and it was just something that i wasn't you know wanting to share anymore and i think we all can create those boundaries within ourselves and people either respect them or they don't recently you guys found out about um about the loss because a lot of you guys also follow my sister and to be a hundred percent honest with you guys i would have never shared that this happened just because i myself it's not something that I necessarily want to talk about. It's not something that I want to be reading about. It's not something that it's something that it's fresh still. It's something that still triggers parts of me. It's something that still makes me sad. It's still a roller coaster of emotions that I'm processing. There's still anger. There's still resentment. There's still a lot of negative feelings within me that I'm trying to process myself for a lot of things. And <clears throat> I am talking to my therapist about them. I don't think, you know, like anybody else can really truly understand where I'm coming from I have been trying to process this and I have just intentionally kept away from being on social media I went on Instagram the other day because I wanted to stop like following anybody and everybody because when I'm ready to go back on social media I didn't want all this information to just be given to me all at once especially if I wasn't prepared to see it um and already you know so many of you guys started sending me um I'm sorry messages and your condolences and I will be 100% honest with you guys because that's just how I I've always been I'm not ready for that like I'm not ready to receive a, as much as you want to share your condolences as much as you may feel sorry um and may share some sort of sadness with me because of it that's not um and maybe as you know that's that's a socially thing to do when when you when we lose people um, I, I just I wasn't ready to be bombarded by so many people all at once to tell me I'm sorry for your loss I'm sorry for your loss because every time I hear that I relive what happened um, which again, it's something that I'm processing. It's something that it's not on you. And I, I understand that you're doing it with beautiful intent, you know, like I'm not taking it wrong in any way, but I guess with that being said, I should share with you that the best way possible that you can show up for me in this moment is by just sending me hugs, by just sending me love, by not saying you know like I'm sorry for your loss um because I don't think I lost anything you know and again obviously I'm very emotional and it was something that triggered me you know it, it was something I I hadn't gotten an anxiety attack in a very long time and and over the weekend um there was some information shared within the family and 
and and it got me you know and i know that anything that triggers me has to do with me and not anybody else i take full ownership of that and i also have to understand that we all grieve differently and that we all do things differently and it's funny because actually one of you guys and it's not funny so um but actually one of you guys when i lost my father one of you guys reached out to me to tell me that you had lost your husband and of course you didn't know you know that i had already lost my father at that time um but i understood you know like i understood the the sadness and 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 i wanted to be there for for you and and i and i did as much as i could to to be there because i understand that we need community and i understand that you need people that love you but i'm also a very private person right as much as i love to share things with you guys here and as much as i enjoy creating content like i have never felt the way that i have felt for this Like I experienced loss in the past, but I had, I had never felt all of the feelings that I have been processing in the last few months. I really yeah. hope that the way that this is received is with love and with grace and with understanding rather than judgment, because as much as I, I am trying to understand how you guys are trying to show up for me. I think when we love people, we have to learn how to show up in the ways that they need us to show up, you know, and I appreciate <laughs> um, the love that you guys share and and just wanting to show up for me in, in whichever way you thought was okay. Um, I am aware that, you know, my sister in, in her video asked for y'all to give me space and for you, for people to just be courteous and respectful. And of course, I appreciate her so much for that because And even then, I, I knew not everybody would listen, <laughs> you know, because you guys love me, too. And you guys also want to show your support to me specifically. And and again, I only know this because of what people told me, not because I want to go watch that video. I don't want to watch anything. I don't want to talk about anything. I don't want to, you know, um, relive certain things because like I mentioned earlier in this video there's still a lot of things I'm processing within myself and a hundred percent honest there's resentment there's anger you know um I'm at peace with what's happened and I'm at peace with him physically no longer being here um but I have a lot of mixed emotions about a lot of things that I'm never going to come out and necessarily, you know, like talk to you guys about because number one, very respectfully, it's nobody else's business but my own. And those are things that I have to heal within myself. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm here. I'm doing well. Like I am um, processing things. I am working with my therapist. I am working. I haven't stopped working. You know, I'm traveling. I am... Um, I dyed my hair recently. I, I know it's not down right now because, you know, like it's just this what it is. But I changed it a little bit. Um, I am working in the background, you know, just trying to do different things um, for myself. I don't really know where life goes from here, <laughs> to be quite honest. But I'm also not putting a lot of emphasis on having to figure that out right now. I do feel for me personally that. I don't know where I want my YouTube channel to go. I don't know where I want my businesses to go. I am at a point right now where if they go or they come, I'm okay with that, you know, just because I think, again, everybody processes things differently and sometimes you need to close certain chapters and start new endeavors, you know? So I don't know where Amy goes from here. Um, I haven't figured that out yet and I'm taking all the time that I think I need to give that space to myself, you know, um, I don't know how long I'm going to continue to be off of social media for. I've taken breaks from social media in the past and they have done me wonders. And again, this is a new experience for me. I don't know exactly what happens, <laughs> you know, and, and part of part of life is the unknown. The fact that we don't know where we're going from certain places. And yet it's like, 
an empty canvas for us to just draw our path right and you guys know i'm very philosophical and i am very positive and i believe you know in the greater things and and that's truly how i feel you know the the way that i'm talking to you guys right now like it's my everyday life you know i've been going to concerts i've been enjoying myself i've been you know just taking time off of other things but i've been reading like i'm still taking care of me i'm still amy i haven't lost her you know like she is still very much in here and if you've been here a long time you know that amy has very strong feelings about things you know you know that um as loving as amy is she's also very direct and when she feels something she feels things very strongly and because of that is why i am trying to process things on my own is why i don't think it's necessary to come and share you know every step of the way with you guys especially because when there are negative feelings like i shared sometimes we do things out of being anger or out of resentment and we hurt other people's feelings without realizing that that's what we're doing and that's never my intention my intention is never to hurt you know anybody else and that's not what i want to do hence why i continue to go to therapy to you know work through my own emotions on my own so i appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart who have been asking me how i'm doing who have been wondering who have been keeping me in your prayers my close community you know like my friends have kept a really 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 close eye on me which i'm very very grateful for i have met new people which i have and i am extremely grateful for um my mom is somebody that i continue to talk to every single day and you know like i share different things with her and 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 there's just new connections and new friendships that are building in this time also that I'm figuring out where Amy goes next and what happens with everything Amy's done in the past and the mistakes that she has also made, right? Because she's not perfect. <laughs> um, so yeah, here's where I'm at. The elephant is out of the room or is that how you say it? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys understand. I mean, this is as much as... I want to share this is as much as I feel okay with sharing um and yeah if I can ask you guys for a favor for those of you guys that are understanding because I understand that not everybody will maybe take this you know lightly or take it with a grain of salt um and I I for sure know that anything outside of me is out of my control um but if if you want to show up for me in any way honestly like just even in the comments saying like hey i hear you hey i get it hey i love you like hey sending you hugs that would mean the world you know like that's it i don't i don't really ask for um a really well thought out message um i'm not really looking in this moment to connect um hence why i've been off of social media i don't know that i'm even I don't know that I'm even looking for, for sure, not looking for pity. I can tell you guys that much, you know, and, and sometimes that, that's what it feels like. That's why there's a lot of things that I like to keep private and I that I don't like to share. There's a lot of things that I don't do in public. Um, there's a lot of things that are kept in me and and within my circle because I don't think that the Internet needs to know everything. Um, so, yeah, if you want to show up for me, you know, just in the most gracious way possible just you know share a hug with me in the comments share a heart with me in the comments um i probably for a while won't even try to read the comments because like i said like the i'm sorry for your loss and the condolences like it gets me it gets me to a point where i can't breathe and that's not on you guys you know like i get it and i understand that you're trying to show your respect and your support so yeah i mean that's really all i can ask for and all i can say um thank you very much rose forever for sponsoring this video and for gifting me and my dad this beautiful bouquet of flowers because honestly like this is a huge representation of him um and of something 
that I have with him and, and, and that connection that's never gonna go away. You know, um, if you are in this moment going through a loss, if you are in this moment going through any sort of loss, even if, you know, somebody didn't necessarily pass away, but breakup, you know, friendship, breakup, whatever kind of grief that you are processing know that it's okay to take your time know that it's okay to cry know that it's okay to be upset know that it's okay to have resentment towards people um for things that happened for things that they did for things that they didn't do um for ways they showed up or for ways that they didn't um I think it's normal you know and I and I am learning that we all grieve differently and we all process things differently and sometimes you think you're 10 steps ahead and then something happens and you go back 20 you know that's how i've how i felt in the last couple of days um but i definitely had a due date for this video and so i was like fuck i need to already talk about like not talk about this but i need to already you know um create this video and it just happened to land at the same time that my sister shared the news and so it just it was like all right boom here it is and here we go and so since the bouquet happened to be for my dad I'm like well here we go you know so yeah I'm good things are good I am processing things but I'm okay you guys should know that I'm fine I appreciate you guys again caring for how I'm doing I appreciate you guys for asking about me and for reaching out I will say this, please do not take it to heart if when I go back on social media, I completely ignore all of you guys' messages because I don't want to read none of that. I, in fact, like I almost feel like going on Instagram right now and just deleting everybody's messages because it's nothing personal, but I am not ready to receive that information in this moment. And so that's why I haven't been on social media, right? And that's why I've been off. And that's why there's a lot of things that I don't want to do. So yeah, I hope you guys understand. I hope that um, you guys continue to show up for me in whichever way that I need you guys to, or that I would like you guys to. Um, of course, free will, everybody can do, you know, what they want to do. I miss you guys. I love you guys. I don't know when I'm going to see you again, um, but know that I'm okay and know that I'm not giving up on myself. I'm not giving up on those around me. And just like so many of us, like I continue to be in a healing journey, even if it's a different one, even if it looks a little bit different than other people's. And yeah, I mean, don't compare your healing journey to anybody else's because it, it doesn't work that way. You know, we all work differently. We all have different emotions and experiences and different feelings come from that. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that here. I love you guys very, very dearly until the next video. I don't know when that will be, but I send you guys a lot of hugs. I send you guys a lot of energy. Before I even post this video, I'm already feeling all of the great energy that you guys are sending my way. So know that I'm extremely, extremely, extremely grateful for all of your kind words and for respecting my boundaries and for respecting what I've asked you guys, being that I have always and will continue to be as vulnerable as I can um, while still respecting my own boundaries and while still you know, just showing you guys and myself all the love that I think we all want and desire from others. So yeah, until the next one, I love you.